fire, man. Damn, shit. Well, I, that was going to be my next thing. Like, how do fucking rappers survive this quarantine? <laughs> like, how would they survive this? Because you did a video where you were saying that um, some rappers will not survive this pandemic. And a couple of the things you were saying, they live a high-maintenance lifestyle. The fact that they've been in the house for two and a half months and can't do any shows because, you know, since records aren't selling, shows and appearances is how these guys get their their money so they can't do any of that right now but also some ways will be like so how will they make money while they're stuck in the house that's up to them niggas to find out i don't know how they make their money but uh you just i think you really just have to save what you got uh right Everybody's gonna be in our diverse thing that they doing. I don't know if the artists are getting paid, but I wouldn't be surprised if they are, because Timberland and Swiss Beats is involved. Right. So I'm sure there's there's some kind of deal with Instagram or something that's going on there. I haven't looked into it, but you just gotta save your money. There's no reason for you to be buying jewelry and new cars right now. Uh, you gotta just be disciplined and safe. Like, there's no reason for you to go get a fucking Bugatti or a new Lambo right now. But what about investing, right? Huh? What about investing? Because, like, the money that they do have, like, yeah, you could sit on it, but... Yeah, do that, yeah. But, so, what I mean by, like, so invest, like, do something, get into, like, the media, right? So, you could, like, I don't think every rapper should have a podcast, because obviously we speaking on Boozy and motherfuckers being too transparent isn't the way to go for a lot of these motherfuckers. Right. But with the versus thing, you know, they're saying that a lot of artists are seeing like um, streams increase. So like three times the like triple streams increase. But the problem with streams is it doesn't bring in the same amount of money as record sales used to do. So, yeah, you're making a little money. Um, Erica Badu, I guess, you know, she sold a lot of her merch off her site the day you know, right after yeah. right after so it's like there there are ways to do it um only fans i guess you know like yeah. <laughs> bottom of the barrel you know like if it, if it really gets to that but i think there are some ways that they can do it because everybody's in the house right now so if you get online and like you talk to your fans reach out to them figure out like all right so what can i do that's that's only some of the smart rappers. Like I said, the smart ones are going to survive and find out how to get their way through this and maneuver. But the, the dumb ones that just smoke mad weed, do mad drugs, and just they just used to just doing shows, and that's just simplified to them. I don't think they're, they're not looking at it that way. They're not going to be the ones that survive. And I'm not, I ain't going to call out no names or who I think. I, I'm not I was just about to ask you who you think ain't going to survive. <laughs> yeah, you know, I ain't looking at it, but because I don't follow up who all the purchasing. Uh, but right now, I don't think you're going to see anybody anytime soon flossing any crazy new neck necklaces, jewelry, which, any of that. Maybe some shit they already got. The smart ones is chilling. The smart ones ain't even got a haircut, probably. You know what I mean? Just, Yo, your, 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 your lineup's staying crisp. I thought you was in uh, going around people during this pandemic. How you staying uh, so crisp? I, I, I got to cheat sometimes, man. I can't. I'm not 100%. Uh, what you want to call it? Safety, safety hazard captain or whatever. Nah, man, I'm staying away from the bar. You see, I'm over here looking <laughs> like a crazy man. I got I was, somebody to do my shit. I, ain't, I don't go. Nah, because I'm like, like, and I, I've been fucking with my barber for years, but like, you know, motherfuckers, they got to like touch your face. Like, nah, I'm oh, good, man. But you don't even do that no more. Nah, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't letting the motherfucker. I got to wait, wait a little bit. Wait till the yeah. barber shops have been open. And then, you know they got their immunities built up in there before I step foot back in one, cause I don't, I don't trust it.